What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. McDonald's is one of the stocks I'm holding in my Revolut portfolio and so far I'm quite happy with its performance as a dividend paying company. But could there be another consumer discretionary name which presents a better opportunity to buy in for their dividend? So today we'll make a quick comparison of two dividend paying consumer discretionary names. As you might have guessed, the first one will be McDonald's, sticker symbol MCD. 2022 is so far not the best as the stock is down for almost 9%. In one year they did manage to go up by 6.83% and in the last 5 years the stock had quite decent growth, going from $130 in 2017 up 88% to $245. The stock is now trading at the price earnings of 24.36 and they are paying a quarterly dividend which currently comes at an annual yield of 2.26%. So for today's comparison we will be taking a look into the dividend yields history and find out if there is any opportunity getting in for that percentage right now. This is here my dividend investing watch list in Google Sheets and we have McDonald's dividend yield history of the last 5 years. Out of this information we can find that on average in 5 years the dividend yield was at 2.31%. Then we can compare this average with the percentage there was for each quarter of those five years, find out the highs and lows that we had and how it compares to where we are right now. So by the end of 2017 the yield was going lower to 2.21% which is 4.45% under the 5 year average. Then in 2018 it went higher to 2.47%, 6.79% over average. The worst one was in 2019 at 2.11%, so 8.77% under the 5 year average. Then with the price dropping the best time to buy in was in 2020 where the dividend yield was at 2.61%, so 12.85% over average. Unfortunately 2021 wasn't the best time to get in, as the yield went lower to 2.13%, so almost 8% under average. And this year, with the price going a bit lower, we have the dividend yield at 2.21%, which is a bit less than the negative, but still 4.45% under the 5 year average. So, since 2.31% is our target, and we are interested in getting a dividend yield that is at least over this percentage, then buying McDonald's right now 4.5% in the negative doesn't really look like the best move that we could be making right now. If you would be interested in making a similar analysis for yourself, and comparing tickers that you are interested in, there is an option in getting this watchlist for yourself, you need to follow the second link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add tickers in a comment below and I'll be adding those into the watchlist myself. So now that we've looked through McDonald's dividend yield history, I would like to present another name from the consumer discretionary sector, which I believe has more opportunity looking into its dividend yield history. And that name is Starbucks, ticker symbol as BUX. It's not not exactly the same as McDonald's, as they are focused on coffee, being the world's largest coffee house chain. The stock was being extensively sold in 2022, down 25.93%. In one year, it's a bit better, but still lower for 22.16%. And they did see an increase in the last five years, going from $58 in 2017 over $87 now up for 48.95%. As there have been some selling recently the price earnings went lower to 23.41 and the dividend is getting more attractive currently at 2.27%. But the current yield is not the main factor here. I want to check how it compares to the stock's yield history. We are back into my Google Sheets dividend stock watchlist and here we have Starbucks 5 year history. Out of these numbers we get that on average in 5 years the dividend yield was at 1 1.78%. So the average is just a bit lower than McDonald's. But how does it compare to itself? In 2017, where the yield was at 1.55%, that was 13.06% under average. Then there was the spike in the yield in 2018, and that was the highest yield we had in 5 years at 2.42%, 35.74% over 5 year average. Then, as the price was going higher, in 2019, we saw the yield bottoming at 1.13%, 36.62% under average. Then in 2020, we had another sell-off, so the yield went up to 
20.59% over average. In 2021, we again had it lower at 1.54%, 13.62% under 5 year average. And currently, with the stock selling off, the dividend yield is moving up. And with a percentage of 2.14, we have it right there at 20% over average. So in McDonald's case, if we buy right now, we are not even getting the dividend yield that we on average had in the last 5 years. In fact, around 5% under it. On the other hand, in Starbucks case, the average 5-year dividend yield is at 1.78%, so buying right now we could be locking in a dividend that is on average 20% higher that we have seen in the last 5 years. Way better opportunity getting in right now. Now there could be concerns if this dividend is sustainable. To further check on that, we will make two more steps. So we'll take a look if the dividend payouts are going up over time, and what is Starbucks dividend payout ratio. This is Starbucks payout history of the last 5 years. So back in 2017 they were distributing 86 cents per share, then in a year in 2018 that went up to $1.07. It looks like there was a bit of a slump in 2019, with a dividend payout of $1.03 on the trailing 12 months. Then in 2020 we came back on track to $1.58. In 2021 another increase increased to $1.77, and with the latest quarter in, we now have the dividend payout at $1.87 per share. So besides this slump in 2019, the dividend payout has been consistently increased in the last 5 years. So they have been increasingly finding capital to give back to shareholders. But in fact, they have been doing increases in dividends for more than those 5 years. Dividend.com suggests that Starbucks have been consistently increasing dividends for 12 years straight. So that does add more confidence that they will keep on increasing the dividend going further. But another step I do want to check is the payout ratio. The percentage suggests what part of company's earnings are distributed back to shareholders. So in Starbucks case, the dividend payout ratio is now at 50.11%. This means that they are giving half of their earnings back to shareholders as dividends. This does look quite sustainable, as they are are still left with another half of earnings that can be used elsewhere, but also to further increase on those dividends. So that was it, make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. What do you think, would you be buying into Starbucks right now? Share your stance on it in a comment below. If you would be interested in getting access to my dividend investing watchlist, then consider memberships. By becoming a member you will get access to Discord, where I share my Google Sheets documents and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week I did an analysis on another company, so if you would be interested in that, then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.